May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings be free from harm. May all beings love life. May all beings awaken. Welcome to another Cuke Audio mini podcast. I pray that you and yours are safe and comfortable, free from economic hardship, and able to get out and do whatever it is you want within the limitations of the universal precept of do as little harm as possible. So today we have another memory uh, of Shunyu Suzuki from the uh, Haiku Zendo Chronicles. And uh, Haiku Zendo, uh, you know, is in Los Altos, where Shunyu Suzuki gave the Zen Mind Beginner's Mind lectures. So... Uh, Today's memory comes from Harriet Heistand. We had Barbara Heistand before. That's her mother. Uh, The first time I met Suzuki Roshi, I was 14. I had stayed home from school with a sore throat. It must have been on a Thursday. Mom came home from Zazen and told me that Reverend Suzuki was in the living room, and would I please go talk to him while she did a few chores. I was terrified. Me? Talk to a Zen master? I don't know quite what I expected. Certainly not the quiet, kind old gentleman who greeted me. I wasn't frightened of him at all, but I was very shy and awkward. There was a book about medieval Japan lying on the table. We looked at it together, and Roshi told me, the stories that went with each picture. I remember being impressed that he could do that without even looking at the captions. I sat my first period of zazen shortly after that. I had been bugging my mother for some time to let me go, and Roshi had finally told her I was old enough. I hated every minute of it. (laughs) People's stomachs made noises, and it was awful. I wasn't ever going to do that again. I don't remember when I started going back. It was a couple of months later, after Aiku Zendo was built. Uh, So that would be in uh, August of 66, I guess. It opened them, or around them. I usually went in the evening. Katagiri Sensei was coming pretty often then, and I remember sleeping through most of his lectures. I liked Thursday mornings best. The lecture was short and usually not as scholarly as the evening one. Eating breakfast together afterward with everyone sitting around the big dining room table gave me a much stronger feeling of the solidity of the group. The people were open and warm and supportive. Whichever priest was there would answer questions, and it was most encouraging for me to know that other people had problems with Zazen similar to mine. It was also encouraging to laugh. (laughs) Katagiri Sensei and Suzuki Roshi both seemed to have a knack for making the hardest things the funniest. Well, thank you very much, Harriet Heiston. That's terrific. <laughs> uh, well, that's a nice picture of it. I, I love these. Every Everyone gives us a different picture of um, what it was like there in Marion Derby's home, which became Les Kay's home. Uh, and it is now, well, I don't know whose home it is now, but the whole thing grew into Kanon Do, uh, the, the Zendo in Mountain View, uh, right next door to Los Altos, south of San Francisco. This has been a Cuke Audio mini podcast. 
I'm D.C. Puba of Cute Audio and Cute Archives, coming to you from Sleepy Senor with Doggett, Bandita, Feline Cuchita, and dear lovely Katrinka. And we're wishing you, and yours, and all of us, a grand awakening. Thank you. 